Hello everybody, welcome to Half Spin, where we talk about the sport of knife throwing. Today I want to talk about how to throw a sharpened knife. Most throwing knives like this Ace Jet Apache are unsharpened. We call it a false edge. Now they have a false edge because if you want to throw traditional half spin, you just grab it by the blade. And so when you grab it by the blade, you don't want to have to worry about cutting your fingers. You want to just grab it and you want to be able to throw. I enjoy throwing false edge knives. That's really the way we should be doing it. We should be throwing unsharpened knives with a false edge. But what happens when we want to throw a sharp knife or have to throw a sharp knife? For example, this bushcraft knife. If I wanted to throw my bushcraft knife, it has a what we call a live edge. So it is sharp. This is an actual sharp knife. It is a tool used for cutting. And so if I wanted to throw this knife, I can throw it full spin by the handle, no problem, just like throwing any other throwing knife. You just grab it by the handle and you throw full spin. If you wanna throw it no spin, same thing, you just put your finger on that spine and you throw it no spin like you would a normal throwing knife. Where the issue is, is throwing it half spin. So I can't just grab this blade and throw it because I will cut myself. So the difference is I have to do what is called a pinch grip. I have to pinch that blade. And so I can now throw half spin, but I have to pinch it. It is different. Now, is it harder to do? Not really. I will not be as good at throwing though a sharpened knife compared to an unsharp knife. So if it has a live edge, you're not gonna get as good as you would if you had a false edge knife. Also, why risk the danger of grabbing a sharp blade and cutting yourself? Another way that you can throw a live edge knife is by doing military half spin. You place your thumb on the blade this way. It's still a type of pinch grip. You're just holding it sideways and then you'll throw it this way. And so in that way, you're voiding that live edge and not cutting yourself. Now, in most situations, I'm not going to want to throw my bushcraft knife. I'll damage it. I'll destroy it. The blade on it is sharp, which makes it thin. The point is also sharp, which makes it thin. It will crack, it will break, it will chip. I will ruin this knife by throwing this knife. But there are some throwing knives like this Cold Steel True Flight that come sharpened. They come with a live edge. And so this comes with the sheath, pull it out here, and we can see that it has a live edge. Now, if I want to throw this knife, this is a knife designed for throwing. It is a throwing knife that has a live edge. If I want to throw this knife, I can throw it by the handle, no problem. I can throw it no spin, no problem. But when it comes to throwing it, traditional half spin, I have to give it that pinch grip and then throw it that way to avoid that live edge to make sure I don't cut myself. Now, I could also throw this military half spin and avoid that live edge. The most common way you're gonna see a live edge sharpened knife thrown is full spin by the handle because then it doesn't matter that it is live edge or sharpened. But when it comes to half spin, the most common one that you're gonna see is that pinch grip. There are other ways to throw a sharp knife, but the pinch grip is gonna be your most common or that military half spin. If there's another way that you prefer to throw live edge sharpened knives, let me know how you like to do it. Let me know if you prefer to throw sharpened knives compared to false edge knives. All right, if you like this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe, and I will see you next time.